Well, hello and welcome back. This is Greg French. Uh, today we're going to look at free malware protection, and this protection is in the form of a rescue CD. Uh, rescue CDs are very, very important to have. Uh, if you get your computer infected with either malware or some kind of a virus or worm, oftentimes it will disable your antivirus program. And once your antivirus program is disabled, you can no longer scan or remove uh, these offending viruses or this malicious software. So it's going to be very important to have a CD that can boot your computer to an alternate operating system. So these are what we call live CDs. Uh, we can boot the computer to the CD. Uh, it starts an alternate operating system, not the Windows on your hard drive. And by having this other operating system running, now it can take over the file systems on your hard drive, scan for viruses or malware, and remove them. Uh, today I'm going to show you a little demo or test. We have a partition that has been formatted with a FAT32 uh, file system and a second partition formatted with NTFS, which is the native uh, file system for Windows XP or 7. Uh, this will test its ability to remove viruses from both file systems. I've got a large number of viruses that uh, we have put on these two partitions, and we're going to test this uh, product to make sure it's able to remove all of them. I think you'll enjoy this. Uh, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, this is uh, what we call free malware protection. There's a lot of commercial products out there, but there's also a lot of free open source products. Some of these free products uh, out actually outperform some of the commercial products. I've been using AVG now, the free basic version, for quite a few years, and it has been very successful for me in detecting viruses and removing viruses or malware. Malware is nothing more than just a, a large category of what we call malicious software, which includes viruses, uh, worms, trojans, any other uh, type of software that has been created to harm or damage your operating system. Now, Rescue CD is like a must tool. Uh, the one I'm going to be demonstrating is AVG's Rescue CD. You can find that at uh, CNET.com, uh, the download.com site. Uh, all you need to do is go to Google, look for AVG Boot or Rescue CD, and it'll take you right to it. Uh, if you go to the AVG or the download.com site, the CNET's download, you'll find that uh, the AVG has been uh, downloaded millions of times. It's probably one of the most antivirus or anti-malware programs that has been downloaded. Very, very highly rated. I would suggest uh, getting a copy of this free program. Put it in your toolbox uh, just in case you might need to run it. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, start uh, the, the Rescue CD, and we'll go through its operation as a demo. I'll be right. We'll get that started right now. Okay, we're going to go ahead and start our CD now. You notice we have three options: AVG Rescue CD, uh, Rescue CD with disabled uh, frame buffer, and also with resolution selection. If you do have a problem with uh, starting AVG Rescue Disk with the first option, you can always always select the second two, and that should generally work. I'm going to select the second second one, the uh, disabled frame buffer. Get that started. This starts like a typical uh, Linux operating system. And we're going to go ahead and pause and pick up again after it finishes booting. Okay, we're almost finished booting. Uh, we, there's a disclaimer here. We need to agree to it. So go ahead and uh, click Enter. Mounting the Windows partitions. Now, there's three partitions on this particular drive. Two of the partitions, one has an FT or a FAT32 file system. The other has an NTFS file system. And we're going to go ahead and make sure this Linux uh, Rescue CD doesn't have any problem with NTFS file systems. It used to be in the past that some of the Linux distributions could read NTFS but couldn't write or remove viruses. So we're just going to make, sh make sure that uh, we can remove them all. And you see here, uh, there's several different options. We're going to use the first one here. It just says scan. Uh, it says configure and run on demand scan. So we're going to select that. We're going to scan, there's two options here, volumes and directory. We're going to scan the volumes. Those are the partitions. And we have three partitions here. The first one I'm going to unselect. That's, that's, uh, not that we're going to use, not the one that we're going to use for testing, but the second two we will. One is, uh, NTFS. The other says VFAT. That's the, uh, FAT32. Select OK. Uh, here's some more options for the scanning. 
Uh, we're going to go ahead and scan for archives. We have uh, zip archives that we're going to scan to. And we'll go ahead and select the rest of those as default settings. And we can interrupt this scan using Control C if needed. So we'll go ahead and select that. Yes. Now it's going to go ahead and scan. It's pretty quick. It's detecting quite a few viruses. It, it found 113 viruses on these two partitions. Now we'll go ahead and press uh, continue. Uh, one or more viruses was detected. Okay. And we want to see the report, display report file. And here is a report of the different viruses that it found. You can see there is a large number of them. Go ahead and exit from this. The next thing we want to do is go ahead and delete all these viruses because again we want to make sure we can delete from the NTFS file system. So we select, select and it says warning of the of Windows system file, <coughs> deletion of a system's file can make your system unbootable. Are you sure you want to delete all infected files? Yes, we do. Deleting the files. And all infected files were successfully removed. We want to do one more scan just to make sure. Uh, we'll go ahead and go back to this one here. We're going to go ahead and scan those volumes again or those partitions. And we want to scan inside the archives. Yes. Okay, now it's going to go ahead and scan. It finished the scan, didn't find any infected files. So this was able to remove a large number of viruses and also it was able to handle the NTFS file system without any problem. AVG is a very good product. And again, I would suggest that you uh, uh, get and download uh, the, uh, the Rescue CD. Uh, well, this uh, concludes uh, the little demo of this Rescue CD. Uh, again, AVG is a good antivirus program. These Rescue CDs can be very handy for removing any kind of malicious software. Uh, they have up-to-date uh, software that is very, very good, scans quickly, and it's uh, served me very, very well. I would suggest uh, also getting a copy for yourself. Uh, you might also notice down at the bottom here, uh, we refer to the Computer Repair Training Plus dot com uh, website. You might find some additional information there that might be you might find useful. Thanks again for your time. Bye for now.